we're still here, so Season of Defiance is still a go. Uh, before I get started, though, I need to get something off my chest that was announced today out of nowhere. It's not Destiny related, but that's why I'm saying it now on the title screen. It, I never really played these games. I've kind of played them, but not really. Budokai Tenkaichi. It's been years since the third one. And we're now getting another one that was just announced at a tournament. What? It's 2023, and there's going to be a new Budokai Tenkaichi. And from the 50, like the 50, what, almost a minute trailer. It looks amazing. Probably one of the most prettiest Dragon Ball games ever. Blowing fighters and Xenoverse out of the water. I'm Kakarot looks amazing, but that's not really a fighting game. That's more of just a story game. This is going to be a fighting game. And shit's about to hit the fan. Literally every Dragon Ball fan YouTuber is reacting to this right now. That's like... I think my brother used to own those games. And the fact that there's going to be a new one after so long. I don't even know when the third one came out. But holy shit. That's like the biggest gap between. Uh, like a sequel. Like holy shit. Anyway. We are doing Season of Defiance. We have finished the Lightfall main campaign. And now it's time to do Season of Defiance. And then next week, after we do the probably the second week of Season of Defiance, we'll continue the Lightfall post story. As you can see, I have uh, fixed myself up and I now look like this. I have properly set my mods, set my armor, etc. I am good to go. I don't have silver for this. Yeah, I don't have silver for this. And I'm not buying... silver for this either. Anyway, but yeah, I had to get that off my chest because I saw that trailer. I saw the news all over Twitter. Holy shit. Uh, funny enough, we have to go to Neptune to start this, uh, season. Because we started it from here. Awaken, Queen's Guard. Visit the hollow projector near Nimbus and near Amuna. Neomuna to receive a message. I haven't done any grinding off stream yet. I'll probably start that like today and tomorrow.
We're doing the whole story, by the way. Or the whole, like, first week story, of course. Now we're using Strand the whole time. Oh, interesting. A pre-recorded message from Banshee44 starts playing at your approach. Hey Guardian, I'm sending you something. Took me a while to figure out what that rifle of yours was doing. Was doing. No, the strange one. Quicksilver something. It's the nanite colony in it. They're working in... They're working to collect, uh, calibrate to your combat style, but you and the weapon aren't what their base programming expects. So, it's taken a while. I wrote up a little code to start the hand uh, start the handshake off on the right foot. You want to take it through its paces where you are in. Uh, where you are in near Muna first. Let me know when you, you've matched the metrics. He included a quick summary of uh, numer numerical objectives. Numerical objectives? I don't know. And also a note to himself for when you bring it back to him. Note to himself for when you bring it back to him. Right, I forgot about this. Whoops. I could have been working on that. May this transmission reach you, wherever you find yourself. The scepter will rest true in the hands of its wielder, but a message comes with no such guarantee. In the aftermath of the Witnesses' attack, the Vanguard called for aid. On behalf of the Awoken people, I answered. We now face a war on two fronts. One on the far reaches of the system, and the other at your home, Earth. Continue your fight against the voice in the darkness. I will assist as best I can in your absence. But even my powers have their limits. Return when you are able. Your people need their heroes. Ah. That's a bit different. That's a bit different. Okay, I now... S okay, so technically you could get that message at any time. But it makes sense to do it after the story, though. It makes sense to, like, uh, do the season stuff after the main story. Also, um, odd that she's in her old outfit. Because I'm pretty sure she's been in her new outfit in these hollow projections before. And her model is in her new outfit. The Vanguard hollow projector. Which apparently arrived alongside the Ascendant Scepter, burst to life with a fuzzy image of Marasov, transmitting from the EDZ. She tells you that she answered the Vanguard's call for aid in the aftermath of the Witness's attack, and says the battle against the Witness is now being, being fought on two fronts, one on Neptune and one on Earth. She is relieved the Scepter... Rests in your hands. Continue your fight against the voice of, in the darkness. I will assist as best as I can in your absence. There is concern in her voice. Return when you are able, she adds. Your people need their heroes. I bet you had to uh, complete the campaign before continuing the story. Data's coming in. Want to take a look? Before continuing the seasonal story. Uh. Just checking the bounties. It looks like we're going back to an old place. 
We're going to the farm. We haven't been to the farm since, uh, whenever they took the farm out of, uh, Destiny 2. Is it in the same... Oh, it is gonna be in the same spot. So this is, like, this is... This area is gonna be similar to, uh... What's it called? It's gonna be very similar to... The Elixir Quarter. Reclaimed Vanguard Camp from the Red War. I don't know about Vanguard Camp. I guess you could say it's that. Also, from what I know, this is the first time in a while that a ghost actually talks during the seasonal story and not just the main story. I guess it kind of makes sense because of how dire the situation is. Oh, this place has seen better days. God, it's been so long. I have there's some that looks neat here now. I'll investigate more. Oh, hey. I'll investigate more once we got the situation. Hello, Guardian. Good to see you again. Wish it were under better circumstances. I don't believe we've met. Devrim K. Velask. Velask. I am Mithrax, Kel of the House of Light. I'd heard the Vanguard had Elixni allies in the city. Good to have you here. Yes, many have come to the Vanguard's aid. Mara Kel is using her light to protect us. Kel, there is no need for honorifics. And my power is not of the light. Afraid we must cut the pleasantries short. In the aftermath of the attack on the Traveler, the Shadow Legion has begun taking captives to the pyramids. Amanda Holidays. We cannot reach her on any frequency. Holiday is out there. Of that, I'm certain. I'll continue scanning the comms. Knowing her, she's up to something. The only question is what precisely. Give me a moment to prepare the LZ, and I'll brief you. Until then. Together, we will save the captives and Amanda. The light provides. You will need more than the light to stand against the witness. But I can provide. Now go, and I will focus on the battles to come. Funny enough, this is not the first time Mithrax has been to the farm. If you remember back in Zero Hour. Oh, what the hell? She stopped her thing. Oh, God. If. I'll show you in a minute. Oh, sh her model looks different? Because the last time we seen her model was back in Season of the Lost. I swear her model looks a bit different now. Like, they used a different face for her. Or, like, a different, uh... Maybe they're actually using the voice actress's face for the model now? Or, like, it's a different in lighting and pose? Because she looks the same here, I think. Ah, Tikian. Oof, man. 
What the hell happened here? I thought there was, like, a bunch of refugees here still, since, like, like, everything. I can't tell if the shard looks any different, though. I swear those weren't there before. What happened? Is some- what? Did something attack here? I don't remember anything attacking this place, because that used to be the soccer court. They never said anything happened here. What the hell happened? I wonder how far you can go. Okay, you could not go this far before. Okay. Uh, to re- to tell- for anyone that's new to this. This was- back in Vanilla Destiny 2, this was the place you went to before the tower was rebuilt, or like, the new tower was made. And this is where Tyra Khan was, and she was the Cryptarch. That's a missile. From where, though? Also, where- Where's Tyra Khan? Are we not gonna talk about that? Where the hell is Tyra Khan? Because this is where she stayed. Also interesting, where's the vault? Because there used to be a vault in that area as well. Also, this is where Hawthorne and the Vanguard stayed. Before we got the tower back. The ship is gone here. Like, um... I'm pretty sure Shax was here, and then the gunsmith was here, which was uh, his robot buddy for Banshee was back. Oh, interesting. I think the, that ship that Amanda was working on was here, the sh which is gone in the hangar, by the way. I checked the hangar and it was gone. Like, Ikora and Zavala stood here, and Cade was here. What the hell happened to this place? Is no one gonna explain what happened to this? This was a random building, I'm pretty sure. I don't think it, anything was special inside it. But, yeah, this is another building. I wonder, can you... There's the cellar. So, back in... Joker's Wild? I guess you can still go down here. Uh, there was a mission called Zero Hour. And if you spared the fallen captain back in a uh, enemy of my enemy mission, if you spared the captain and killed the knight, that was Mithrax, so canonly. He spared him. And he would come down here. You'd be hiding in the farm, funny enough. And he would be all the way in the back here. Like, right there. And you start the mission to get Outbreak Prime. Or Outbreak Perfected. From here. From him. And it's funny that his old little spot that he huddled up in is now... A refugee area. What happened to the farm? Is it because of... My guess is these, this is rubble from the battle in the space. Like, the battle in space probably dropped a bunch of shit and it probably landed on the farm. Or parts of the Almighty one. Well, no. Parts of Almighty is too far away. It must have been the space battle. Oh. He's back to doing that again. I guess when she does that, and then if you approach her, she stops, which I don't even know what she's really doing. All right. 
right, Guardian. I'll keep it brief. The witness took a swing at the Traveler, and when we tried to intervene, our pilots went down. Amanda Holiday among them. The survivors, what there were of them, went to ground near Trostland and Old Russia. Now the damned Shadow Legion is picking through the wreckage and capturing prisoners. We're running rescue ops in the EDZ now. Crow has gone ahead to scout the defenses. He's reporting the Pyramid Outpost is utterly impenetrable. Fortunately, the Queen is on our side. Mara is imbuing you with otherworldly power. Awoken magics and all that. I'm not sure how it works myself, but if she believes you can make it through, I'm not about to disagree. I'm glad you're here, Guardian. I'll see you in the field. This is interesting. He hasn't been a crucial story point since Red War. Devon K, the Vanguard stalwart scout in the EDZ, friends of the clan person, uh, Hawthorne. Briefs you on the upcoming operation. Many of the Vanguard's pilots, including Amanda Holiday, went down during the Witness's attack on the Traveler. The callous loyal Shadow Legion have started rounding up survivors and taking them to their pyramid ships. You, Devrin, Crow, and Mithrax will be attempting a rescue mission. The pyramids themselves are impenetrable, but the ritual Mara is engaging in should help with that. Mara is abusing you with otherworldly power, awoken magics, and all that. I'm not sure how it works myself, but if she believes you can make it through, I'm not about to disagree. A battleground, and those will probably be added to strikes later. Wouldn't stopping her not be a good thing? Also, everyone had a theory that the tower was going to get destroyed and we would make a camp here. Because there was a glitch where you would spawn down here. And people were thinking, oh. We might be, uh, this might be the new last city, quote unquote. Or tower. That or the helm. But who knows, maybe in Final Shape the tower does get damaged. Basically the farm used to be a temporary tower. I will be reading the seasonal lore like I usually do. I don't know about the light followers stuff though. Because there's so much of it I unlocked. Repeat emergency transmission. This is Amanda Holiday. My ship was disabled during combat and I was forced down in the EDZ. While I was waiting for evac, I saw a Shadow Legion patrol leading a group of captives to a pyramid. Sneaking into the facility with the prisoners. I'll bring my comms along as a beacon. Whoever hears this, tell the Guardian to gear up and follow my signal. I'll be waiting. Repeat emergency transmission. Where are we? Wait, are we heading to the camp? Is the camp... Oh wait, no, I don't think we're heading to the camp. I was about to say, were, in, were we in the sludge? The EDZ feels a lot smaller now. I don't know if they zoomed out the map or is it just feels smaller now. Like the map itself feels smaller. I don't think the EDZ has been really involved in something for a while. At least like this. Like, I think last time was season of 
worthy? Like, in very important stuff. Because they were involved in later seasons, but not at, not like this. What the hell? I'm so confused with what that was. Also, I get to show off stream anymore, because now I officially use it. actually going out of map, which is kind of funny to me. Because we used to go, uh, we used not to be able to go that far out of map. I don't think we ever went this far before. Also, we were not in outskirts that long. We could have literally used the other fast travel point. Yeah, we definitely never went this far into the... ...water before. Wow. Holy shit. How did Amanda cast that broadcast from here if she is here I must admit I had several good ideas for this jailbreak but traversing an alternate reality was not among them guardians doing what now I swear the longer I know y'all the stranger things get stranger still now that the witness has arrived They are going so far ahead of me. Where's the grapple hook? To be fair, that's my grenade energy. And I wish that I like, recharged a bit faster. Ow. I was to say, if I could use my sparrow. I'm gonna check every chance I get. Eliminate the taken blight and summon a balefire in its place. It will consecrate this place and drive the darkness out before it. You got base security chasing their tails. Looks like they're deploying some heavy firepower to stop you, though. 
There's something up ahead. It's bringing back a memory, or Aldrin's memory, I guess. A familiar voice. Be careful, Guardian. I die at grappling. Oh, I hate. I. It's that damn thing. Banish man. these taken defilers. They are but empty shells filled with the desires of a greater will. Trust in your light, and they cannot stop you. That was something. I don't even know how to describe what just happened. I tested the perimeter of that pyramid for hours but couldn't find any entry points. And now the Guardian just walks in? It depends on one's point of view. The walls of the prison may be impenetrable, but the walls between worlds are not. You never did have much respect for boundaries, did you? Eh, uh, that's a little... oof. Oh, oof. This is a lot of, like, tension. There's a lot of tension between I see you on my radar, Guardian. those two. The prison cells should be just ahead. And possibly guard's a real piece of work, though, so watch yourself. And possibly Amanda and Pro, too. Target powerful taken. Seize their essence and consecrate them in your veil fires. Once sanctified, the essences will become weapons to lower your enemy's defenses. The hell? Oh. Oh, okay, this is gonna be how the well works. I can only I can't be outside too much. I don't know about Amanda and Crow, but Crow and Crow is 
is playing a crow calling himself something like he's basically saying I'm not all because he's saying all for twenty years. But he's kinda there's some easy tension between him and him. And it's more like he I don't know if he necessarily if, he, if he's creating the tension. It really feels bad for everything she's done to him. Unintent- like, intentionally, but unintentionally. And... There's a possibility he was gonna go for him if he didn't get his win. Yeah, I plan to like build up his character. Since he didn't have the memories. Now that he has the memories, that plans out the window and she needs and she's learning to accept him as who he is and his boundaries. And hope and she still has hope that eventually they can reconcile. Even though technically him as Crow doesn't really have anything to work with. Extraction confirmed. The hostages are on their way back to the farm. Good work, everyone. Guardian, my ship's nearby, but she took a beating. I could use your help getting her out of here. Hey, Amanda. Pretty much there's a lot between uh, Crow and Mara, the unpackage. Also, I never knew her leg was robotic. I never knew she had a prosthetic leg. Probably because I never got a good look at her legs, I guess you could say. <laughs> but I literally read in lore and found out that she had a prosthetic. I'm like, oh, did not know that. I don't want to not return the orbit because there's a cutscene. And they said not to skip going to orbit or else the cutscene won't play. I wonder when she lost her leg. Get the shit out of me. Hey, it's the chaperone. Hey, Guardian. Thanks for your help back there. Just need to clear out this. Oops. Uh. Oops. Hey, Glint. Nice shot. Right through the heart. Thanks. Sorry. We thought you were Shadow Legion. Easy mistake. I'm just so beefy. You're leaving again? Don't you ever slow down? Nope, not when there's work to be done. Amanda! When your ship... I thought I might never see you again. No time for that kind of talk. I'm here now. Let's get moving. Interesting that Glint didn't talk at all. Also, there's some tension between those two from Season of the Haunted.
Ooh, boy. And, yeah. You can tell in Amanda's face. And he, he tried to crack a joke, and... Not bad, but... Mm. Back in the helm. I wonder where Amanda's gonna go now. Back, because she's actually not in. She wasn't in the hangar for obvious reasons, but I wonder if she went back to the hangar because Raul has the ships right now. Or is she gonna be in the helm, or is she gonna be in. or at the farm? Also, the Cabal's not here anymore. Technically, you could fit a lot of characters back here. This is all cleared out now. Of, like, the stuff from Season of Plunder. There is a scannable here. I'll check that later. This is one hell of a view, though. Look at this. Instead of looking at the moon, we're now looking at Earth. Also, the scandal's over there. Vanguard War Table displays holographic images of the Shadow Legion uh, Pyramid Outposts. You notice evidence of extensive upgrades as though the helm internals now house various high-tech systems do in part you summarize to the Woken Corsairs and House Light Elixney who are working nearby A weapon awaits you as and as you, you move to take it, you notice the war table seems to await pairing with a an awoke woke or a ascendant scepter. Also, this sword I like the I love the look of it because it's like the claymore from the grasp. I like this one though too. A recorded message from Master Raul plays when you pick up the Ingram Tracker. Guardian, this is a new device of my own manufacture. It will allow you to monitor the number of Ingrams available at, at each of the vendors in the tower. If you ever lose it, you can pick, it, pick up a new one from any of those vendors. I look forward to seeing you de deploy this device. Also, you can get what's kind of cool. You can get the sword, or you can get the three class swords from Season of Opulence, like the upgraded uh, opulent versions of the class swords now from those in from the War Table engrams, which is badass. I never got those swords, and the fact that I can get them now is kind of cool. I sensed your triumph through the choke of the pyramid's suppression. With the scepter in hand, you were able to move through the depths of the Ascendant Plane. It is as I hoped. Your light sings with the incantations I send forth, strengthening you in ways not seen since the Seven Paladins. Since the Queen's Guard. Powerful as I am, I cannot be everywhere at once. But the Guardians can. So, I entrust you with my favor. Take it. 
Breach the Ascendant Plane, walk the ley lines within, and banish those who would oppose you. I do not ask for fealty in return. I would not kneel in your place, as favor with condition remains a shackle. No. Claim this power freely, as your strength serves my kingdom and your own. Let it flow through you, Queen's Guard, and I shall knight you myself. Mara greets you via the hollow projector. I sense your triumph through the choke of the pyramid's suppression. With a scepter in hand, you were able to move through the depths of the ascendant plane. Is as I hoped. Your light sings with the incantations I send forth, strengthen strengthening you in ways not seen since the Seven Paladins. Since the Queen's Guard. Mara explains why she is sending her power to the Guardians. Powerful as I am, I cannot be in everywhere at once, but the Guardian Guardians can, so I entrust you with my favor. Claim this power freely as as your strength serves my kingdom and your own. Let it flow through you, Queen's Guard, and I shall knight you myself. Take the scannable out real fast. Is there a reason for that? No idea. Collect three awoken favors and define battlegrounds and complete one defined battleground playlist. Oh. I have that armor, but I think I'll be fine. I'm like four levels away from that. We're four power away from it, but it's fine. Not the first time they did something like that and boost your power. Oh wow, you just spawned me here, huh? Who 
feel like I have more range on that. Oh god. That guy's powerful. Ah, I see now. See the problem. <laughs> Not that big of a problem, but I see the problem. issue I do not have unstoppable come on are you not Especially in how it shows you, you get a little flavor. Hopefully I don't have to have that armor on because I might, you know what, just to make this a little bit easier on myself, I'm going to put that armor on. I only have the chest plate and the helmet, I think. Yeah. get over there already as I was messing with my stuff so I guess that makes sense oh come on I had it geared up and everything Don't make me go through the agony. Really? I'm going to go through the trouble while they go by and not have any issues. This is going to make it. I'm going to... This is going to take me a few times, isn't it? in the favor part at least It's 
chaps my hide that the witness has this whole plane of existence to itself, but it's still gotta make trouble on our doorstep. That is the nature of darkness. The witness will not compromise. It will not negotiate. Its victory must be total. Well, that's just unreasonable. Your re-entry point lies just ahead. Perhaps these Taken sense it. Destroy their blights to breach the pyramid. Can I do something without getting insta-killed? I just want the freaking clean stream to come on. I saw someone get it. Can I have it? I don't know how it generates because I have two pieces of armor on. Oh, there you go. I think that was it. I got that. I got it. I honestly didn't expect this to be as hard as it is. In terms of, I didn't expect it to ask for that power level. Though I was good. Open favors can be generated by... So it doesn't like tell you how often. 
tells you you need to defeat people. Oh my god. This is kind of annoying though. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, wait. Even with mo even if I did put mods on this, it would probably still be tricky. Anyway, let's do a champions. After all that, I didn't even get the favors are a little annoying. Is it asking for favors in the playlist? I still only have one. Gun. Hey, hey. Like, I don't even think the other battlegrounds are this hard, even if you're under level. Just realized they both have the same cape on.
I wish there was some type of meter that tells you tells you when you're getting the next favor. only possible because Queen Mara is sharing her power. Without her, I'd still be stuck in that pyramid. And I'd still be trying to get you out. <laughs> Target the most powerful Taken and collect their essences. The light of your Balefire will consecrate them, transforming them into weapons singular power. I killed a lot of enemies there, and I still didn't get anything. This wouldn't be as annoying if the favors dropped easier. Clearly, I have two pieces of the armor on. The Shadow Legion are empty shells, animated by a will of darkness. Free them from their bondage to the witness as you free the prisoners from their shackles. I think we have to keep kneeling. I don't get zeal. Did I, did I mess that up? Bad feeling, we're gonna die here a lot. That didn't work. I, I missed through that. I think that was supposed to hit the dude in the shield.
now. I think this would be better if I didn't have a sword. It doesn't help that I'm the only defender here, so... Like, I would have to become set. To really start being a good, like, defender. Also, I still don't think I got any favors yet. I hope you don't get one per run. That would kinda suck. So if there's a bear cover or worse. So that I didn't mean to put it so far up the front. I have to do this again because in favor is really scarce even though it's really true. Uh, even though you're supposed to be able to get oh my god this is gonna be a pain in the ass I literally have the armor on to generate favor faster and it's still not generating I'm gonna change classes, even though I kinda did this a little late.
There I work. I honestly don't know the best strategy is to get dark tracers at all. I might, I know I'll pull up. You know, if we don't get sniped every five seconds. Like, this run seems to be worse than the first. I might have to look at Rickactus' videos, because I may have made a mistake. Well, that was a shit show and a half. It... God. I just realized I don't have overload anymore. Shit! This wasn't as annoying the first time around. Like the, it, it's not even the champions that's the problem. It's everything else. It's all the other enemies. Because our cover is shit. They gave us shit cover. I have to reload almost every time I pull out the weapon I want to use.
That sucked. Please don't try to get me. Just live, please. Oh, thank you for the she reload speed. you can get the or it seems like you don't need to do the playlist to get these favors so I might just boot up the normal one after this Eight seconds. First one always takes the longest because of under level shit. Back some ugly memories. We had fewer allies during the Red War, 
I fancy our chances have improved considerably. Each victory charts the course for the next. Just as choosing the light time and again has brought us all here to this same moment. it though because it didn't seem like it would generate more Adjust my armor a bit. See if I can be a bit more useful. Just for now, I'm putting on higher stuff. You know, I look freaking goofy now. look at the upgrades and see how they work because I'm so confused of how the favor works especially with how scarce it freaking actually activates to work because it there has to be one that had that generate helps with favor what does this one do oh heavy ammo weapons Special ammo weapons. And your ability. Okay, I wanna get those.
Alright. That should help a lot. I like the colors and the look of this armor, by the way. See how I look. I don't look bad. I just need the arms and bond now out uh, of the complete seasonal set for the Titan. Now with three part three pieces of armor and easier abilities, I should be able to get this now. Also, what's my power at? Should not be as hard now. A two more Woken Favors. Let me actually make this a little bit easier on myself as well. Stasis. And let me re-put this on because of obvious reasons. So heavy ammo and ability kills is what I really need to do a lot of. I had a feeling this was going to take a long time, but I did not expect me having to do this thing three times or more just to finish the story quest. and heavy, so sort out. And I hope sliding and breaking crystals counts, because those are my grenades. Okay, that is favorite. Hey. Okay, good to know. So, favored by other people helps as well. Okay, that counts. There we go. God damn. That was way easier. finish this anyway. I don't have to now, but I'm going to.
Devram, you're a great shot. I could use your skills on recon missions. Kind of you to say, old boy. But Amanda and I don't have the luxury of resurrection. My station in the church is already more perilous than poor Mark can bear. Of course. You're right. You're doing more than some hunters with lives to spare. Don't know why you're not dying. Undo. Bows and sni or sniper rifles. Wow, I had to get. Good thing I got a sniper rifle now. I generate any favor by the Unless you can only generate it outside of the assembly plane. It chaps my hide that the witness has this whole plane of existence to itself, but it's still gotta make trouble on our doorstep. That is the nature of darkness. The witness will not compromise. It will not negotiate. Its victory must be total. Well, that's just unreasonable. The pyramid facility looms above. I can feel the darkness thrumming in the atmosphere. Just one more taken infestation to clear and we'll be in.
I technically don't need to fully do this one, but I'm doing it anyway just to help these guys. Because, holy shit. <laughs> I got the favorite thing done, but this is still a slick king anyways. getting shot through him by the way if you didn't realize that. I was getting shot through him. That makes, didn't make any sense. So far, uh, uh, not a lot, but the little bit of the last one.
There we go. Hey, better than last time. The pyramid yields to the might of the Awoken. Well, not all of us. This is only possible because Queen Mara is sharing her power. Without her, I'd still be stuck in that pyramid. And I'd still be trying to get you out. I also thought it was for this taking a lot longer than I hoped it would. Seriously?
know how I'm still alive through all this. Really? How did you do that? Only problem with being back here, I can't really, like, get... In terms of, like, ammo. I locked myself off, I'm stunning that guy, great. Let's grab this real fast. I would appreciate if I could land a few shots. progress it looks like.
get don't die, don't die. Really? I have one bullet and I didn't even notice. This is taking way longer than I thought it would. planted in the palace gardens because I like the fruit, but you need live wasps to propagate figs. You'll dig it up at the roots after your first sting, she said. <laughs> she was right. That was some... I didn't get to show off Strand as much as I wanted to there, but yeah, it's fine. Or I'd be able to later. I feel like this season is definitely going to be an interesting one in terms of the narrative between Mara, Mara and Crow, and Amanda and Crow. And there's, and it's going to be funny because Devrin's going to be there <laughs> and witness it all. So are we.
When the last city called for aid, I pledged the Awoken to the cause without hesitation. The Vanguard has helped my people many times in the past. But what you face now is no simple, endless curse or vengeful God King. We Awoken were first struck when we came between the Traveler and its Hunter, and I chose my people above either one. The choice has come again, and my answer is no different. I do not blindly defend the light, and I do not listen to the voice in the darkness. Instead, I choose that which holds light and dark together in hands and heart. I choose you. Now, humans, exos, cousins all, detach, fall forward, number among the first, awaken as Queen's God. That was a line, holy shit. Mara stops channeling her power to speak with you. You feel a sudden weight settle on your shoulders again and realize you've grown used to the strength granted by her favor. We awoken with the first struck when it were first struck when it, when we came between in the traveler and its hunter. And I chose my people above either one. Choice has come again, and my answer is no different. I do not blindly defend the light, and I do not listen to the voice in the darkness. Instead, I choose that which holds light and dark together in hands and heart. Her hard eyes fix on you, and her expression is deadly serious. I choose you. Mara hands glow with power as she traces delicate patterns in the air. Detach, fall forward, number among the first, awaken. With those words, Mara officially knights you into her Queen's Guard. Ghosts always say. Eyes up, Guardian. Ooh, boy. Well, that kind of settles that already. There might be some banter later, but I think it's mostly gonna be gonna be between Mara and Crow. Then, uh. Then, uh, Amanda and Crow. Alright. How many keys do I have? Four. God, that was something.
Oh, I got the arms now. I don't have the bond yet. That's the only thing I'm missing now. I have to really start organizing my armor later. Not right now, though. See how this looks, though. And it's not updating great. It's at that. It's at that. Looks like this is gonna be a five one. Five parter. I might as well read the lore now for this now before I forget. Thing is, I have to figure out what is from what. I think this is... I don't know what this is from, actually. I think... Oh, no. This is from... Okay, good. I'm not gonna read this one out loud this time. I think these are the grandparents. Because, uh, she did say her grandma had the chaperone.
Hmm. I think the... Let me look at the triumphs real fast. Uh, it's delightful. Season of Defiance. Let's see. Slut, uh, sight lines. And the beaten path. I have to remember that because that means we have one more to read, and then we can then I'll uh, wrap up for the day. Now this the shorter ones I will read. Everyone K leaned out the broken window of the Trossland Church and fixed his eyes on the sky. The traveler and the witness were up there somewhere. The most with most of the vanguard and all the fighter pilots. Eyelids, the last city could muster. The comms were filled with static. All Devon knew for sure was that they were fighting for their lives. The orbital combat was barely visible in the daylight. An errant streak of weapon fire and twinkle of an explosion. From the ground, the conflict was silent and beautiful. The deaths of his friends. Sparkling as gently as the light of long dead stars. Devon tried and failed to shake the thought from his mind. There's a faint coro uh, corona of, fi of fire in the exosphere shimmered with a cloud of sparkling debris. It was impossible for Devon to tell if he was looking at the remains of the pyramids or the traveler. Wire rifle fire cr uh, crackled against the stone wall of the old church and he cleared the field of threats with eight precise shots. Devon steadied himself against the window frame and pulled a pair of binoculars from his vest. He focused on a single distant that flashed in the sunlight and it, as it tumbled to earth. He held his breath as the debris drew closer and he was able to make out a strangely clean cut slice of a fuselage bearing Vanguard library. Devon felt his ha hands go numb. Mayday, he said into the EDZ comms channel, his voice somehow calm and clear. Our birds are coming down. Far below, his binoc binoculars shattered against the... Shattered against the Trossland cobblestone. My guess is he just saw one of the ships that had a guardian that got sliced up in it. Oof. Okay, I'm gonna end it with Mara in the background for this timer for this one. Okay, good. She didn't stop. Cause I kind of want her to be doing that in the background. Alright. I'm going to end it here for today. That is the first week of the seasonal story. That was a bit rough because of how the Wilkin favors work, but I got it down, so I should know how to do it right. But yeah. Uh, Tuesday will either be... It'll either be the continuation of the seasonal story, or 
let's see. Or the... Yeah, I think that would be the continuation of the seasonal story, maybe. And then I'll do... The more light fall stuff on Thursday. And then... Saturday will be the return of Genshin. And we will be doing the... Wind Bloom event. Or... Not Wind Bloom. Whatever the... The new event that's out right now. I will return to God of War at some point. I just have to figure out scheduling wise when. Probably I'll probably return to God of War when uh I'm done with the lightfall stuff, like the main lightfall stuff and I'm just doing season stuff. But for now, that'll be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good day. See you guys later. Bye bye. Also, real quick, I actually re I'm starting to like where the seasonal story is already going. Okay. See you guys next time.